serious, people who got a no for their wedding, proposal, what happened and did you expect it? I definitely wasn't expecting it. She told me no, then informed me that she was moving away and didn't want me to be part of her new life. That's ice cold. I probably would have expected it if I were sober at the time. Ooh, drunk proposal? How'd the relationship go afterwards? I think he's referring to more of a period of time, than a specific moment. Current girlfriend, actually. About a year ago I asked her to marry me and she gave me an incredibly painful but calculated, level-headed response. I took her out to a beautiful place where you can look at most of the Inland Empire and if there are clouds it looks like some shit from a Disney movie. Anyway, after asking, and her saying no, very gently, I remember her exact words, I love the shit out of you, but we are both just absolutely not ready. We talked about it extensively and while I was hurt initially, she's more than shown since then that she's committed to me. We've built a better relationship since then, not that it was bad, and we could do it right now, and have talked about it, but at this point, I'm definitely not as ready as I thought I was. Tables kind of turned, actually. Edit, the place's inspiration point up in Wrightwood. Has a different feel than some of the mountain towns to the south. My girl asked me to marry her, and I said no. She wasn't surprised or shocked, but I felt I wasn't ready. She just said that's okay and we went on dating. About a month later I asked her to marry me, super romantic, we were at the mall eating pizza and while she had a slice in her mouth I said, so do you still want to get married or what? And she said yes. Been married 27 years. So do you still want to get married or what is probably the best proposal I've ever heard? Proposed on a beach under a full moon, she said what? No, I'm not getting married now. Four years later we're lying in bed it's 2 in the morning and she's awake all worried about something. After about 15 minutes of trying to get her to tell me what was wrong she said don't you think it's about time we got married? I made her wait 5 minutes before I answered. Married for 7 years next month. Woo. So I was 22 and she was 24, we were madly in love and all of that jazz for about 2 years. I think me asking and her declining brought out all the superficiality in the relationship. We were in this drug induced love that was me financing her constant entertainment while she basically had no life outside of my bedroom. When she said no, I think we both really started to look a lot deeper at everything. I stopped paying for everything, stopped driving her around. She started leaving the house more and enrolled in college. These changes definitely made us much happier, but we both made the dumb decision to keep on dating. We lasted a whole 4 months before she cheated on me. If you ever find a cheap ring in the Bolsa Chica wetlands, let me know. Should be close to the one. I asked, she laughed, said she was ducking X and was moving out tomorrow. I think you probably avoided a crappy divorce had she said yes. But I have to tell you, this hurt my heart. I hope you've gone on to find love in someone who puts less value on objects than the life you could share together. I started ask my girlfriend, she was 16 I was 17, to marry me in a secluded wooded creek bed, she ran like a frightened deer yelling don't say it, don't say it. So I said okay. We continued on our outing in the park. Several hours later, walking through the same spot. I mentioned that as was where we were almost engaged. She turned and looked at me and said quietly, I'm not running now. We were married 3 years 12 days later. 37 years ago. That's a pretty great story if you meant years instead of hours. It's still good otherwise, I guess, but a little Nicholas Sparks. I expected it, but here is why. This girl was very traditional. She expected me to ask her parents permission. So. I made a dinner date with them and we had the discussion. Her father, who is a difficult, but good man, asked me what I would do if she said no to me. I thought about it for a minute and then explained that I would leave. I wouldn't wait forever for her. He was happy with my answer and granted his permission to ask her. We had always loved Key West, so we planned a trip. It snowed the night of the flight, so at the last second we drove from New England. It was actually a pretty fun road trip. Romantic details aside, I asked her, she said yes and wore the ring for the next four days. When we got back, she gave me the ring back, said it wasn't a good idea, because she didn't want to disappoint her ex. I took a few days to process. Packed my shit up and left. Sold the ring for less than half of what I bought it for. We still speak once in a while. She has always said it was the biggest mistake of her life, not keeping the ring. I have since moved on and found a wonderful woman, who I hope to spend the rest of my life with. 
Okay, lame story done. Thanks for listening. I asked him about it, after nearly two years together and having gotten through the struggles of a LDR, and me moving 600 miles for him. He said I don't believe in marriage I don't need to be married to love slash spend the rest of my life with someone I was hurt. But I was a stupid 22 year old in love, so I just said okay. Few months later, he broke up with me. We were different places in life apparently, and then two months after that, he's dating someone new and they're already living together slash talking about getting married. I was completely heartbroken about it, even still recently. But after the tiring day I had yesterday of work on no sleep, I just realized I don't care anymore. There's no point in crying about him or missing him anymore, I see everything with a new clarity. We were in an LDR and had just come back from spending a week on a cruise, I decided to propose to him. He said no. He followed that little perler up with he's not sure what love really is. Unsurprisingly, we didn't last. Well, we started dating in high school, which was 9 years ago. Last Christmas I popped the question amongst his family after planning it out under his nose the whole time. I dropped subtle hints the whole time and thought I had spoiled it but everything went to plan, and he said yes. So of course like every girl's dream I started planning immediately, and we decided for later this year. As we were doing just something small among family and limited friends, we needed nothing fancy. With two and a half months to go until the month of the wedding, he calls it off after having a panic attack. Confused and needing answers, he eventually tells me he doesn't believe marriage is last anyway and that he felt obligated to say yes because that's obviously what I wanted. Long story short, we're planning our 10 year anniversary party for next year and going to be starting counseling soon. We're perfect together but have stuff to work on individually, and you don't just throw away 9 years over internal demons. Whether we decided to stay together or not, as one of my oldest friends I would still have stuck by him in his time of need. Young. Stupid and probably horny just out of college, I bought an engagement set and sprung it on my college girlfriend. Did not get the response I was expecting, she freaked, called me irrational and left. Problem 2, the department store where I bought the ring would not refund my money. I finally was able to negotiate a store credit, I exchanged the engagement set for a down sleeping bag. Frankly it was the better deal. Proposed. She wanted to but disapproving parents dampen her spirits. Response, definitely not no. I stayed optimistic hoping she would come to terms with what she wanted in life, give it more time. Three months later she ghosted me. Though it technically wasn't a no, it might as well have been one. So here's the story. We were both 19, been dating since 8th grade, somehow, and both madly in love with one another. We ended up going to different colleges, but they were only one hour away from one another so no big deal. I had been tossing around the idea of proposing ever since I turned 18, but figured I'd wait a little just to see what happened when we went to college. About halfway through our first semester I decided it was time to ask, so I called her and asked if we could go do something for the weekend. She said yeah, I actually wanted to talk to you about something, which probably should have been the first red flag. So I drive to her place, knock on the door, and she comes out. I knew something was wrong immediately because there was no hug, no inviting me in no warmth. She looked me dead in the eye and just said I've been cheating on you. It took a solid minute for what she said to click, but I just remember being so ducking angry, and disappointed, and sad, all at the same time. All I could really stammer out before walking away was I'm so disappointed. For the next couple of months I was a total wreck, stopped eating, started drinking, made some questionable decisions. I eventually got out of the funk thanks to some counseling, a lot of reflecting, and some seriously great friends. I don't think she ever knew what I was planning to do, but I'm kinda thankful she didn't, and I'm thankful I didn't actually go through with it. 5 years together. First night of a cruise, she said no. We try to enjoy the cruise anyway. Week later she tells me she's cheating on me. 10 tenths would not recommend. He told me no, and I was crushed. He explained that he is vehemently against marriage, and while it didn't make it hurt any less, I started to understand. Both of his parents have been married three times, I can get why he thinks marriage is a sham. Still, we love each other madly, so we're together. I've asked a couple times if we could just do a courthouse wedding, or file for domestic partnership, or have a wedding ceremony without it being legal, or if I could buy myself a ring to wear. No to all of that. We did agree that I can call him my husband and he calls me his partner. His family and some of mine consider us married anyway. 
It sucks sometimes because I want that symbolism really badly, but life sucks more without him in it, so ideal. I guess technically my now wife initially said no. So we had a super great relationship and it was pretty obvious we were going to get married. So one day, while going to pay the rent, I said without thinking I think we should start planning the wedding. Confused she looks at me and says she's not planning anything, we're not engaged. Pauses a few seconds and asks if I was asking her to marry me. I have to pause and think about it a second, and I say uh, yeah I guess I am. To which she responds by saying no you don't have a ring. Next weekend we go out. Buy a ring. I later propose more traditionally, and fast forward 5 years later we're happy and have a family. I asked a woman I had known for a long time to marry me. Her reply, I will never marry you. What if the man of my dreams comes along later and sweeps me off my feet? That caused me to think long and hard about my relationship with her. I came to the realization that it was a one-way relationship. If she needed money I helped her. If she wanted someone to go on a trip with her it was me. If she was having a bad day or a bad week or a bad year she turned to me for emotional support. But if I wanted a shoulder to cry on I had hers. For about 5 minutes before I was told something along the lines of my need to get over it and move on. I realized I let her have 51% of the vote on where we traveled, where we went out to and who we hung out with. She never made an effort to pay back a cent of the money I had given her over the years. I realized I was her emotional tampon. When her heart was bleeding, I was what she used to soak up the blood. I stopped putting effort into that relationship. When she asked why I was distant I told her and she tried to blame it all on me. We have now gone our separate ways and we don't talk anymore which is fine by me. A year later she did get married. The guy she married filed for divorce 9 months later. A mutual friend told me it was pretty much for the above reasons. Accidentally got a no. Proposed in a restaurant to my current wife, the whole ring and the cupcake and everything. I go on one knee, and propose, completely not taking into account how bad her social anxiety can be, I just figured her books have these types of things, maybe she'd like it. She panicked, said no, and ran out. As someone with a socially anxious current boyfriend, I will keep this in mind. I didn't propose so much as announce that someday I would make her my wife. I was 16 we'd been dating for 6 months. She looked at me like I was speaking in tongues and nearly broke up with me. I know, don't say it, I know. But, 20 years later, we've been married for 15 years, have 2 kids, bought a house and it just keeps getting better. So Therese that. In hindsight I should have expected it since I was shit face drunk, had never met her before and the ring was stolen, don't ask about the ring. Edit, sorry if this is against the serious rule but it did happen. Edit 2, okay since people are asking haha, I'm an asshole in this story. Basically I ran into this guy from high school at a party few years later. He was talking about how he found the girl of his dreams and was going to propose to her but was waiting for the perfect time. He was carrying the ring in his jacket pocket so if the perfect moment came up, I don't know, maybe some sort of walking in the park at night scenario? I didn't particularly like him and after a few drinks I got the brilliant idea that I should propose to her first. Because that's how it works right? First come first serve. So I grabbed the ring from his jacket he had left slung over the couch and proposed to her. Well, it was a beautiful and sunny day on the shores of Oregon. We were together for 4 years. She meant the world to me. I got down on one knee, asked her to marry me, and she laughed and said no. Then she had some stranger take our picture. She didn't even care about my gesture. It killed me. I broke up with her because it pained me to see her or be around her. I became introverted, stopped eating, and became a total jerk. All I did was go to the gym, fight, get drunk, and hook up with girls on Tinder. But eventually, I met someone I really care for. It took a while, but I became caring and loving again even though I thought I never could. She gets me for who I am. Our relationship has a better foundation than mine and my ex's ever did. My ex was passive aggressive, and I never really felt like myself around her. I'm not going to say that losing her was the greatest thing to ever happen to me, but the experience caused me to do a lot of growing, and I think it has made me a much stronger person. Do you want to hear from people who've said no as well? I do. Edit, in hindsight could have been a poor choice of wording. This should be close enough to count. We had been dating a while and got serious. I asked her dad, got approval, and she knew I was going to buy the ring, I didn't say it, but we had been shopping and she picked it out, 
so it wasn't going to be a surprise either. She called and told me not to. I drove to her apartment instead and she broke up with me. I was blindsided and it killed me. We ended up patching things up and trying again for about a month, but I had lost trust and didn't know how to deal with that. I broke it off and we went separate ways. Our relationship had issues, and I see those clearly now. I don't know if I could have grown enough to be a decent husband in the aftermath of a serious issue issue like that, especially with my inexperience in serious relationships and the other issues we were going through. I ended up marrying a friend of hers, they talk occasionally, and are nice to each other still, and she married a really cool dude. We both have kids, and I think we could all be good friends under different circumstances, but that is a hard conversation to start, remember when we almost got married? Let's hang out. Strangely enough the experience gave me better perspective and some introspection that led me to the point that I think I could deal positively with that kind of shock or betrayal from my wife. Not just push it down and try to ignore it, but really come to grips with it and mom ice past it to get to a healthy relationship again. I hope it doesn't come to that, but I love my wife enough that one or two huge mistakes, from either of us, shouldn't ruin what we have. Thanks for listening to another episode of Redditex. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.